Hello, hello netizens. I'm ecstatic to welcome you to Glitch Tech X today. Thank you for tuning in. No fucking subscription rants or intros. We'll get straight to the point. In today's news video, the GeForce RTX 3080 is 68% faster on average than the RTX 2080. RTX 3080 is going to deliver over 100 frames per second in AAA titles at 4K resolution. AMD Radeon RX 6000 series RDNA 2 GPUs teased in Fortnite. Alrighty then, let's get on with today's video. The GeForce RTX 3080 is scheduled to launch on the 17th of September. Well, that's no secret. However, comparing the OpenCL and CUDA benchmarks with the yesteryear's RTX 2080 shows an astounding leap of 68% in performance and in some cases the RTX 3080 clocks double the performance than the RTX 2080. Take a look at the snippet on the screen. Various performance benchmarks were compiled by our video cards and come from the OpenCL and CompuBench databases. Don't directly extrapolate these numbers to a boost in gaming performance though, as firstly, these are synthetic benchmarks. Secondly, the benchmarking tools can only take advantage of a subset of features of the brand new Ampere lineup. And thirdly, the performance numbers might improve with an iteration of the drivers. Moving on, Nvidia aims to deliver over 100 frames per second in AAA titles at 4K resolution with the upcoming RTX 3080. This might be feasible since the RTX 3080 has already obliterated the RTX 2080 Ti in Doom Eternal and has delivered over 150 frames per second at 4K. This topic was addressed by Nvidia's Director of GeForce Management, Justin Walker, during a Q&A session on Reddit. The question revolved around the VRAM on the RTX 3080 and whether a 10GB GDDR6X VRAM would suffice. To which Mr. Walker mentioned that Nvidia is constantly analyzing the memory requirements of the latest games and this is regularly reviewed with game developers. Long story short, Nvidia has stated that they aim to deliver 60 to 100 frames per second in AAA titles at 4K with high resolution textures and RTX on where applicable. Whether this holds up, only time will tell. But according to the specs on paper and the performance expected from the RTX 3080 cards, this claim might hold its ground. Our next news item is a teaser from AMD. The Radeon RX 6000 series cards featuring the RDNA 2 architecture were teased in Fortnite. This seems to be a special event sponsored by AMD since the Easter egg was spotted by an AMD sponsored streamer on Facebook going by Gina Darling. This looks like a marketing stunt since the streamer knew the code to enter and was on a custom made map for AMD. This Easter egg definitely points to the Radeon RX 6000 series branding for the next gen RDNA 2 products. Meanwhile on Twitter, AMD employees have been teasing that the next-gen Radeon Big Navi offerings will surprise everyone. The chief architect of gaming solutions at AMD, Frank Azor, commended Nvidia on the RTX 30 series launch and also mentioned that he can't wait to show the great products that the Radeon team is working on. Nvidia and AMD are battling it out and there seems to be cutthroat competition. This is getting exciting. Well, this wraps up today's video. If you've watched the video till the end, thank you so much for your time. Do subscribe to the channel for PC hardware, tech and gaming videos. Click the subscribe button please.